to Charlie Munger's criticism about the startup, essentially luring in rookie investors into the market. We've got a statement here from Robinhood. The company is saying that in one fell swoop, an entire generation of new investors has been criticized. And this commentary overlooks the cultural shift that is taking place in our nation to suggest that new investors have a, quote, mindset of racetrack betters is disappointing and elitist. They go on to say it should be celebrated that they're seeing new market investors and that's beginning to diversify. Uh, this is also a previously untapped generation of new investors. Charlie Munger, of course, the 97-year-old investor who's Warren Buffett's right-hand man, he essentially said that retail traders are being enticed by brokerage firms like Robinhood. He said it's the most egregious in some of the momentum trading by novice traders here. Uh, he essentially said that Robinhood is the main culprit and that the trading activity is reg uh, regrettable, as he calls it. So Robinhood hitting back at Munger this morning. Back to you guys. <laughs> Yeah, Munger wasn't making many friends in that crowd yesterday. Kate, thanks for that. And let's keep this conversation going. Joining us now, Neelay Patel, the Verge editor-in-chief and CNBC contributor. Uh, Neelay, what do you make of Robinhood's response? I mean, Munger is basically saying that retail investors are getting lured in. They didn't know what payment for order flow was, but, you know, it's been all in the headlines. There's even Michael Bolton singing about it for, you know, a new trading platform. Uh, should they be allowed to, you know, make their own decisions? Does Munger sound like a dinosaur here? You know, for the past however many years in America, we've pushed people towards the stock market as a vehicle for their retirement, as a vehicle for their investments. You know, I had a smart guy on my podcast the other day named John who said, well, yeah, but most people shouldn't day trade. And I think Robinhood has to walk a fine line between letting people more freely invest, more freely back the companies they care about, which was very hard to do before, and play the stock market like a casino, where we know they're probably just going to lose. Right. Neelay, some might argue, though, that this is just a start. Sure, uh, the average person shouldn't be day trading, but it's that experience of learning, learning from their mistakes that leads to more education, more participation in the stock market, more long-term holding, right? Yeah, and I, I think GameStop itself right now, as you watch this rally, is a really good example uh, it's rallying because of a, uh, an emoji of 